Hi guys, Chris here. Um, I just want to chat to you about using channels to predict where price might go to uh, when trading. Um, it's one of those questions that we get asked a lot. Um, basically, you, know, you enter a trade and when should you think about taking your profits? Um, well, this is one technique that you can use which might help you. Um, first of all, if we're looking at a trend trade, then what we would need um, is an ABC, as we teach you on the course. Okay, so we start off with the A, and B, and then the C. And as you guys know, we always look to enter uh, the trade at around the C point, and we look to then trade up. Um, if we're in an uptrend. Um, so <clears throat> how we make a channel is we actually draw a trend line from point A right through to point C. And then to make the channel, basically all you do is you just double click on that trend line. And you'll notice we've got the three points um, like the squares that appear at the ends and in the middle. So once you have those three little squares, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then drag that line up and you're gonna get an absolute parallel line. And what I want you to do is just put it on to the, um, on, just hold it right on top of that B uh, and then just let go. And you'll see that price goes between this channel line. And when it hits this channel line here, could be a reason for you to start thinking about exiting the trade or, or taking profits, in other words. Um, so if you'd have done that, then basically you would have got in on the C point and then you could have traded right up until uh, the candle just touched here. Um, so I'll just go through another example with you. So again, here we've got um, an A, a B, And C. And like I said, basically we draw a little trend line up from A into a C. Okay, and then what we do is we hold down the control key and making sure that we've got these little um, squares at the end of the trend line. Hold down the control key, and then drag it up to point B. Um, and basically, you'll see that, that we've got no idea exactly where the price is gonna be going to at the moment. Um, but if we continue this trend line up, you'll see as we, we see the price going up, and then bang, there it touches our upper channel line. Um, and it could be an area where, where we could consider taking profits. Um, in, in this case, price did go up even more, but you would have made a nice profit from the C point right up until here. Um, let's see what happens if we do the whole process again. Okay, so we've got point A. B. And point C. Okay, so we're looking to get in on the C point. So we draw, always draw the trend line from A to C. And then we take a parallel line up and we draw it to the top of B. Now you'll see in this occasion, didn't quite get there. 
If you want to be a little bit safer with your target, um, you'll see obviously this is a long wick here. So you can bring the upper channel line down to the bottom of the wicks. And that just gives you a safer bet that it's going to hit, actually hit your channel line. Um, so again, you would have had that um, trend line there up from A until C. And then you just hold down the control key, making sure these uh, squares are um, at the end of the line. And that gives you a parallel line that you can just pull up to that B point. And, and uh, if you'd have stayed in that trade until it hit that upper channel line, then you'd have made good profits. And let's see if we can find something else. Okay, so this is an example of um, a downward trend. So you put your A point. B point, and the C point. Again, we're looking. We always looking look to get in at the at the C point, and then if we're in a downward trend, we trend trade down. So, um, if you're in a downward trend, then we again we always draw from A to C, um, the trend line. Um, and remember, at the point that we actually drew that trend line, what we would be seeing is this we wouldn't know exactly where the price was going to go to so we use this um, trend line tool uh, again we hold down the control key and we bring it back to point b and then that helps us to know when price might be getting towards uh, and, uh, the end of the run so you can see here if we have stayed in that trade until the price came down I'd hit the trend line there, then we'd have made a nice, nice profit from this C point. Probably got in on this uh, bearish engulf here and then traded that right down to this point here. So that would have been a nice, nice profit. Yes, it did go further, but um, you know, you can never get every single pip out of the market. You'd have been happy with that trade. Um, so, guys, I hope that's all made sense. Um, give me a shout. Let me know if you've got any questions relating to that or anything else. Um, you can pop onto the chat room or give us a call, send me an email. We're here to help.